In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Windows 10 using Bootcamp Assistant. First thing you need to do, you need to download Windows 10. You'll have to go to this website and I will put link in the description below. Scroll down, choose your version. I'll use May 2019 for this tutorial and then confirm. Choose your language. Confirm one more time. For this video, I'm going to use 64-bit operation system. I'm not going to click download because I already downloaded before. Then you'll need to go to utilities. Double click on the book camp assistant. In this pop-up box, click continue. Continue one more time. And since I have an older Mac, I have to use a flash drive for this to work. So I'm going to plug in flash drive. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click continue one more time. Right here, you need to click on choose. And you need to navigate to download or where you downloaded your Windows 10. Click on Windows 10, the one you just downloaded and click open. And right here, continue one more time. In this pop-up box, click continue, just letting you know that it's gonna erase everything from your flash drive. And now it's creating Windows 10 flash drive for your computer. In this pop-up box, put your password. In this pop-up box, put your credentials again and click Add Helper. And right here, we need to allocate how much storage we're going to use on Windows. If you're going to try to play video games, you probably want to allocate more. I'm just going to do 50. 50 is going to be enough for this video tutorial. Okay, and now we need to click Install. And in this pop-up box, we need to put password one more time and click unlock. And then one more time and click add helper. And now it's going to restart your system. And if you're going to get this error message, that's going to say no bootable device, insert boot disk and press any keys. And if you're going to try to press any keys and it's not going to do anything. So here's what you need to do. You need to power down your system. Then hold the option key and turn your computer back on. And right here on the startup, what you can do, you can click on Windows. If you have older computer, then you'll need to click Windows. If you have one of the newer one, then you probably will have to click on EFI boot. But I will click on Windows and click on this arrow. Okay, and now we're just gonna have to go through the Windows installation process. I'm gonna click Next. I'm gonna click on, I don't have the product key yet. I don't have one right now. I will purchase one later. And right here in this option, you will need to choose which operation version you're going to install. It all depends on which product key you're going to purchase. I will be purchasing Windows 10 Pro, so I'm going to choose Windows 10 Pro and click Next. I'm going to accept Terms and Conditions. Next. And right here, I need to choose Bootcamp Partition and click Next. And now we just have to wait until it's going to install Windows 10 on my Mac. Okay, and right now we just need to go through initial setup. I'm gonna skip that. At this time, I'm not gonna connect to the internet. I'm gonna connect once I set everything up. I'm gonna click on continue with limited setup. I'll set everything up after the setup. 
and right here you need to put the username whoever is going to be using it. i'm just going to type user and then click next and for this tutorial i'm just going to skip password i'm going to decline all the offers if i will need them i'm going to go back and re-enable them and right here i usually like to disable all of it And then I'll click accept. After installation is complete, we need to connect to the internet. Okay, once we connect to the internet, there's a few more things we need to do. We need to click on start and go to settings and then scroll down and we need to install Windows Update. Check for updates and this process could take a while. So I'm not gonna wait through this whole process. And also what we need to do, we need to activate Windows 10. So you can click on here and it's gonna take you to the activation page and right here, you can uh, change your product key depends on the one you purchased and on the version of your windows 10 and you can activate here i'm gonna do that later and once you're done using windows 10 and you need to boot into your mac os x what you can do right click on a start and restart your system and while it's going to be restarting you'll need to hold the option key on a startup and that is going to give you an option to boot either into a Windows or Macintosh HD. I'm going to click Macintosh HD and I'm going to click on this arrow. And that's it. It took me back into the Mac OS X. And same thing, if you need to boot into Windows 10, restart your computer on the boot, press Option key, hold the Option key until you're going to get the menu, until you're going to get the option where you would like to boot either into Windows or uh, your Mac. Once again, thanks for watching.